And so Alibaba's new Quen model, which it claims surpasses DeepSeek's V3, that is part of this new frenzy post DeepSeek. The AI arms race just took another unexpected turn. Just when everyone thought DeepSeek was on the verge of dominating China's AI landscape, Alibaba fired back, dropping a model it claims is better than DeepSeek V3, GPT-40, and Llama 3.1, 405 billion. But how did we get here? And why does this battle between DeepSeek and Alibaba matter so much in the larger war for AI dominance? Let's break it down. For months, DeepSeek had been on fire, shaking up both its domestic rivals and Silicon Valley. The Chinese AI startup had disrupted the industry overnight, proving that it wasn't just another small player, it was a serious contender. On January 10th, DeepSeek launched DeepSeek V3, an AI model that stunned the industry with its high performance and shockingly low cost. Just 10 days later, on January 20th, it dropped DeepSeek R1, pushing the boundaries of what AI models could do even further. The impact was immediate and massive. Investors were rattled. DeepSeek's models were suddenly competing with OpenAI's and Google's most advanced systems, but at a fraction of the cost. The biggest shock? Tech stocks started taking a hit. Investors began questioning whether companies like OpenAI and Google could justify their massive spending when a lean Chinese startup was achieving similar results for much less. Just when it seemed like DeepSeek was unstoppable, Alibaba made its move. On January 29th, during the first day of the Lunar New Year, a time when most of China is on holiday, Alibaba Cloud dropped Quen 2.5 Max, an AI model it claims surpassed DeepSeek V3 and even OpenAI's GPT-40. This wasn't just a counterattack, it was a statement. DeepSeek wasn't the only AI disruptor in China. Let's talk about DeepSeek's meteoric rise that shook the AI industry. Now, Alibaba has released a generative artificial intelligence platform designed to rival the Microsoft-backed ChatGPT. Google and Chinese tech giant Baidu are among those to have already unveiled similar platforms. DeepSeek wasn't always a major player. In fact, it seemed to come out of nowhere. Unlike massive tech corporations with rigid structures, DeepSeek operated more like a research lab, lean, agile, and highly focused. Founded by Liang Wenfeng, the company didn't rely on thousands of employees. Instead, it was powered by a small, elite team of researchers from China's top universities, working with a singular vision to push AI innovation faster and cheaper than anyone else. The turning point came in May 2024, when DeepSeek released DeepSeek V2, a model that completely disrupted the AI pricing landscape. Not only was it open source, but it was also unbelievably cheap, costing just one yuan means 14 cents per 1 million tokens. The impact was instant. Major AI firms in China, including Alibaba, Baidu, and Tencent, had no choice but to respond. Alibaba slashed its AI pricing by as much as 97%, and soon after Baidu and Tencent were forced to follow suit. Almost overnight, DeepSeek became China's most disruptive AI startup, a company that wasn't just innovating technologically, but economically as well. And when DeepSeek V3 and R1 launched in early 2025, the shockwaves weren't just felt in China, Silicon Valley took notice too. But Alibaba wasn't about to let DeepSeek steal the spotlight. It had the resources, the infrastructure, and the market dominance to fight back. Alibaba strikes back with Quen 2.5 Max. On January 29th, Alibaba Cloud made a bold claim, Quen 2.5 Max is superior to DeepSeek V3, GPT-40, and Meta's Llama 3.1405B. That's a huge statement, not just because of the names involved, but because Alibaba positioned itself as a direct competitor to some of the most advanced AI models in the world. The announcement was made through Alibaba's cloud unit on WeChat, where it stated that Quen 2.5 Max outperformed these leading AI models almost across the board. If true, this would mean Alibaba has leapfrogged not just DeepSeek, but also OpenAI and Meta, two of the biggest players in the AI space. Could Quen 2.5 Max really be a game changer? Alibaba's claim that Quen 2.5 Max is better than DeepSeek V3, GPT-40, and Llama 3.1405B raises big questions. Questions that could determine the future of AI competition, not just in China, but globally. Is it really superior? Alibaba hasn't released full benchmark results yet, 
So while its claims are bold, they remain unverified. If Quen 2.5 Max truly outperforms DeepSeek V3 and OpenAI's GPT-4.0, it could be one of the most powerful AI models in the world. But until independent testing confirms these results, the question remains open. Can Alibaba sustain the AI price war? DeepSeek forced massive price cuts across China's AI industry, making high-quality AI models cheaper than ever. But unlike DeepSeek, Alibaba has deep financial resources and a massive infrastructure advantage. This could allow it to outlast smaller AI startups in a long-term pricing battle. Will Alibaba make Quen 2.5 Max open source? One of DeepSeek's biggest strengths was making its models open source, which helped it gain rapid adoption and put pressure on AI giants. If Alibaba follows the same strategy, it could steal DeepSeek's momentum and become the new leader in China's AI race. Chinese AI versus Silicon Valley. The battle between DeepSeek and Alibaba is just one piece of a much larger AI war, one that extends far beyond China. DeepSeek's rapid rise in disruptive pricing didn't just shake Alibaba, it put pressure on ByteDance, Baidu, and Tencent, all of whom were forced to upgrade their AI models in response. ByteDance, the parent company of TikTok, quickly pushed an AI update just two days after DeepSeek R1 launched, claiming that its flagship model outperformed OpenAI's O1 in AIME benchmark testing. AIME is one of the most respected benchmarks in the AI industry, measuring how well AI models understand and respond to complex instructions. If ByteDance's claim holds up, it means Chinese AI models are now directly competing with some of Silicon Valley's best offerings. But here's the bigger picture. This isn't just a deep seek versus Alibaba fight. It's part of the larger AI arms race between China and the United States. The two countries have been locked in a fierce competition to lead in AI development, and recent events show that China is closing the gap fast. For years, Silicon Valley dominated AI, with OpenAI, Google DeepMind, and Meta leading the charge. But now, with companies like DeepSeek producing high-performance AI at a fraction of the cost, U.S. tech giants are facing serious competition from China's AI firms. The rapid innovation from DeepSeek, Alibaba, ByteDance, and Baidu signals that China is no longer just chasing Silicon Valley. It's competing head-to-head. -head. And this raises a critical question. Will Silicon Valley be able to maintain its AI leadership? Or is the future of AI going to be defined in China? Can DeepSeek survive this challenge? DeepSeek changed the game by forcing price cuts across the AI industry, but can it survive Alibaba's counterattack? Unlike Alibaba, DeepSeek runs lean. It operates with a small team of elite researchers instead of a massive corporate structure. This allows it to move fast and innovate quickly, but it also means it lacks the infrastructure and deep financial backing that companies like Alibaba and Baidu Baidu have. DeepSeek's founder, Liang Wenfeng, has made it clear that he's not focused on price wars. His goal is AGI. AGHI, Artificial General Intelligence, refers to AI systems that can perform any intellectual task that a human can. And achieving this would be the holy grail of AI research. But here's the challenge. DeepSeek may have been the disruptor in 2024, but now it's the one being challenged. Alibaba's Quen 2.5 Max is a power move from a company that has the resources to outlast a startup like DeepSeek. The biggest question now is whether DeepSeek can maintain its first mover advantage. Can it continue to innovate at breakneck speed or will Alibaba crush it with better funding, infrastructure, and global reach? At the same time, DeepSeek's open source strategy has made it a favorite among AI developers, giving it an edge in adoption and influence. If it can keep producing cutting-edge models at ultra-low costs, it could survive Alibaba's challenge and remain a key player. But if Alibaba decides to go open source as well, DeepSeek could lose its biggest advantage. Either way, the AI race is far from over, and DeepSeek's survival is not guaranteed. The AI battle isn't over. This is just the beginning. What we're seeing right now is a global shift in AI dominance. China's AI companies are rising fast, and Silicon Valley is facing real competition for the first time. DeepSeek came out of nowhere and disrupted the industry, but now it's facing a powerful challenge from Alibaba. So what happens next? Will DeepSeek's disruptive efficiency allow it to keep its lead? 
Or will Alibaba's corporate power and massive infrastructure overwhelm the startup? And beyond that, will China's AI surge put Silicon Valley on the defensive? This AI war is far from settled. The question is, who will win? If you've made it this far, let us know what you think in the comments section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.